Shalom. I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to my power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I give a double honor to the apostles of Great Middle Stone of Tobit is Truth. I give a shalom to the elders and Aki and Aki and the Hawaii Zimbabwe's who are teaching the flock in truth and sincerity. And I give a shalom to the hopeful elect, or the elect and the hopeful elect. This is going to be a short lesson. Um, I don't know what the title of it is going to be, but it's going to be a short lesson. Um, essentially, I guess it's going to be on the picture or the image that you see on the screen. You know, this is going to be a depiction of what to expect once all hell breaks loose in Babylon the Great. You know, you're going to see fires burning. You're going to hear screams. You're going to see beasts devouring people. You're going to see men against men. You're going to see men against women. You, you're just going to see all types of things that the common man today isn't used to. And the only way through that shit hits the fan scenario is, is through the spirit and strength of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And uh, that's the only thing that's going to get you through this is the Lord, you know? So essentially I was pondering on the events that are coming. And one of the things that ran through my mind is, you know, how are people going to sleep? You know, I mean, it's going to be so bad out here that people are going to be dreading to sleep because when you sleep, you're defenseless, you know, and, and if it's that bad, a lot of people are going to be up day and night, you know, and if you're by yourself, man. And if you sleep and you don't have the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua protecting you, then you, then essentially you're you're um you would be asked out, you know. So I'm a, um I'm a I'm gonna grab a few scriptures in the book of Matthew that I guess kind of sums up the spirit that you should be in when Jacob's trouble happens because in no wise are are you going to escape the perils that's coming except the Lord be with you. So um, I'm going to start off in the book of Matthew chapter 8 and I'm going to start off at verse 23. Um, and it reads, and when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. So essentially, Yahweh Shah entered into a ship and his disciples followed him. So you can liken those scripts to what the elect would do when following Yahweh Shai, you know? So if you could put yourself in that situation, we are following Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai. And, um, and his disciples came to him and awoke him saying, Lord, save us, we perish. So Yahweh Shai had went to sleep and there was something going on that that troubled his disciples to the point where they actually had to get him out of his sleep, you know? And this is what the Lord said. And he saith unto them, why are ye, Talakia, why are ye fearful, O ye little ones of faith? So Yahweh Shai is saying, look, man, why... Why are you afraid? Don't be afraid of this. You know, do you not have faith? I mean, I'm here with you. So, so if, 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 
So if you follow me into this ship, then you, you, you actually have to understand that you are covered by me because you're following me. You know what? You don't have faith in me. You know. Then he arose and rebuked the winds in the sea, and there was a great calm. So when I read that scripture about how they woke him and or how they woke Yahweh Shai and and Yahweh Shai's response to his disciples, and then what Yahweh Shai did after they awoke him as far as common the seas, that's the spirit that we should be in. We should be in that spirit of calmness. We should have we should be in that spirit of understanding that what's going on when Jacob's trouble happen, happens or shit hits the fan happens, that that's not for us. That's for them. That's that 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 great tempest and those great turmoils in the sea isn't for us. It's for the unrighteous. It's for the wicked. So we should understand that through faith that you, that Yahweh Yahweh Shai has his has his men covered, you know. So we have to understand that because what you see in that image on that screen, you're gonna need faith. You, you're gonna have to have the understanding of the scriptures in order to endure until the end. Because anybody who's looking at that image on the screen would um would actually have to say to themselves damn that's fucked up that's bad you know i'm dead in that day unless they have the spirit and power of yahweh and yahweh protecting them so reading on in the book of matthew so yahweh yahweh Shai woke up and rebuke he rebuked the winds and he rebuked the sea and there was a great calm. So in other words, you have to rebuke these things that are coming upon us through the spirit and power of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai because there's only one name under heaven given where, where we might be saved. And I'm just, and you know, I'm just paraphrasing that, that, that as long as you have the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and you're following his law, statutes and commandments and you're doing what you're told, and that's going out down the highways and byways, teaching and preaching, or putting up videos, or, or, or um, or um, or um, you know, or um, you, or you have the faith in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, then you could be comforted in knowing that you may be delivered from that tempest and those turmoils that are coming upon the earth. Because when I look at that picture on the screen, and you know, in my spirit, I'm saying it's about time, you know, and that's why we hasten the day. Reading on in the book of Matthew, um, this is verse 27, 8 and 27. But the men marveled, saying, what manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? And yeah, brothers, those are the times that we're coming into where... So some of us may receive spiritual powers where, where you know, you, you could call down fire from the heavens or you can, you know, stop the winds or you can walk on water or, or um, you know, you could feed thousands of people or, or you, you can heal people. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and knowing that what what you were given was given for a reason. Now, what that reason is, I don't know. But to actually be called into this is a great gift, you know, to to have the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the creator of all things and what he requires of his men is a blessing because a lot of people don't have that, you know? <clears throat> so like, as a matter of fact, most people don't have that. You know, so, you know, I just wanted to bring that out in the book of Matthew, um, you know, to give some insight of the turmoils that are coming upon the earth and, and, and the mindset that you should be in because, you know, 
it's going to get bad. So, um, I mean, um, I'm I'm gonna grab another scripture, the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty-five and verse thirteen. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, Power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry, and his servants are those men who are following the law, statutes, and commandments, and who are actually following the commandment that that he gave his men to actually go out there on the highways and byways, preach, teach, be instant in season and out of season, um, 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 as pursuing to, uh, what scripture was that? Uh, Salak, yeah. Uh, the book of Second Timothy, chapter four. Yeah. Um, and it reads, and it reads, preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exalt with long suffering and doctrine. And and that's what his servants would be doing. So when you read the book of Isaiah, chapter sixty five and thirst and thirteen, therefore thus saith the Yahweh Power: Behold, my servants, my servants are those who are doing. What was just read in the book of Second Timothy, Salakia. But um, um, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. My servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah, we're gonna rejoice in that day. So when you see builders on fire, um, people dead in the street, animals eating people, kids, or, or or whoever, you know, these race wars and, and, um, you know, these civil wars and, and when they come down with this MOB using food as leverage, you know, yeah, I was saying, yo, you ain't even got to worry about that because in that day you're going to be eaten. So they're not going to have that leverage over you, you know, to use food against you, you know? You're going to be drinking, so you don't have to worry about being thirsty where they'll have that leverage against you, where where you have to be tempted beyond a point where, you know, um, 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 you're going to faint, you know, because Yahweh, because Yahweh Shai said that, you know, he's not going to lose any of his elect, you know. My servant shall rejoice, but ye should be ashamed. And that's the just what's, and and that's just what's gonna happen, you know, because in that day, a lot of people who walked past the camps, who scoffed at the prophets, who ignored the prophets, you know, who have not hearkened unto the voice of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, in that day, these people are gonna be ashamed that they didn't listen and they didn't spend the time to get right, you know. So this is just a little short lesson um, on the image on the screen, you know, of the times that's to come, you know, but the only thing that's going to get us through any of this is the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. So with that said, um, I give all praise, glory, and honor to my power, Yahweh Bashim Shai. I give a, <clears throat> I give a shalom to the apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And shout along to the elders and Akim out there on the highways and byways who are teaching the flock in truth and sincerity. And shout along to the elect and hopeful elect. And and may uh and may you endure until the end. So, so with that, I say shout along.